Hello students, a very warm welcome to all of you on the platform of an academy. And in today's class, we are going to read, study and understand the chapter 5 of your moments book, that is the Happy Prince. We'll talk about the session, what are the important themes in the chapter. We'll take a look at that. But before that, let me quickly introduce you to the Unacademy Plus subscription. What do you get with the Plus subscription? Of course, multiple features are there for all of you, which are exclusive, unique. What you're supposed to do is when you're taking the subscription, please use the code Romana10 to avail flat 10% discount. So do not forget the code that is Romana10. That is my code. And with that, my name is Romana and I have been tutoring and mentoring students for a while now. It's been more than seven years now and it, it has actually been a fabulous journey. All right. I've completed my master's from Delhi University. Okay. Now, apart from that, students, what we are going to do today, we are, what we are going to take a look at is the chapter number five, like I said. That is the happy prince. Now, it is very important for all of us to know who the author is or who has written a particular story of prose. Here we know that it is Oscar Wilde. Yes, Oscar Wilde has written this particular story, The Happy Prince, okay, which is also uh, an ironical story, so to say. Like, he appears to be happy, but in, but in reality, he is not happy right now. At this point in time, he is not happy. Of course, he was happy when he was alive, but now he is dead. And when he sees the realities of his uh, palace of his kingdom, he realizes that he was in oblivion. He did not know that uh, his uh, people, people in his um, kingdom are suffering. They are leading a life of misery. Okay. So let's get quickly uh, started with this. And before that, let me tell you something about uh, Oscar White. And his full name is Oscar Quingle O. Flaherty Wells White. Okay. He, uh, he was born on 16th of October 1854 he, and he died on 30th November 1900. He was an Irish poet and a playwright as we all know. He uh, wrote in about 1830s when we, saw, when we saw him become one of the most popular playwright, one of the most popular playwrights in London. Okay, And one of his most famous stories or novel is The Picture of Dorian Gray. I have to inform this to you. Okay. Although it was uh, something that uh, did not uh, bring a lot of appreciation to him, but then yes, it was uh, written marvelously, fabulously, and it is now considered to be a classic. It's a picture of Dorian Gray. Okay. All right. Now let's proceed with the story and let's quickly take a look at the Happy Prince and other stories. Is a collection of stories for children by Oscar Wilde, first published in May 1888. It contains five stories, The Happy Prince, The Nightingale and the Rose, The Selfish Giant, The Devoted Friend and The Remarkable Rocket. So this is a part of the collection of stories that is called The Happy Prince and Other Stories. Okay? Let's quickly start with the story and we'll take a look at different themes, the storylines, how are we going to go about students. So first of all, I'll read this entire um, you know, detailed story to you. We'll, I'll explain you the story. I'll tell you what happens in the story. Okay, what happens with the happy prince? There are a few things that you must keep in mind. There are important uh, phrases over here in the particular chapter that you need to understand. All right, and with every stanza or with every explanation, I have got a few questions that can come. Okay, but before that, I will quickly start with the chapter. I hope you all are ready. Okay. So the happy prince is a story about a happy prince and a little uh, swallow. Swallow is a bird, as we all know. A beautiful statue stood on a pedestal high above the city. The statue was covered with thin leaves of gold. He had sapphires for his eyes and a ruby in his sword. Okay, so who are we talking about? We are talking about the prince. All right, so this prince is, this is the happy prince who is, Standing, who has actually died and now he's standing on the pedestal. He's having a look at the city and the statue is built so high that he's able to have an overview of the entire city. So standing there, this is this is this prince happy now? No, not really. He's not in a state of peace. He what he takes a look at is the misery of the this entire place. So he says, 
दैट वेन ही वॉज द प्रिंस वॉज हैप्पी Why was he happy? क्योंकि जो जिंदगी ये जी रहे थे हमारे प्रिंस उन्हें बिल्कुल नहीं मालूम था कि क्या हो रहा है पैलेस के बाहर की लाइफ इन्हें बिल्कुल नहीं मालूम थी अच्छा अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट स्टूडेंट वट एवर ही वॉज टोल्ड वॉज द गुड थिंग्स द सक्सेसफुल थिंग्स के अच्छा आज हमने इतना अर्न किया हमारा ये हुआ हमने इतने लोगों की मदद करी बट देन ही वॉज ही डिड नॉट गेट टू नो एंड ही डिड नॉट गेट टू इंटरक्ट विद द पीपल और ये चीज इन्हें ऐसा लग रहा है कि ये हैप्पी प्रिंस इससे थे क्योंकि उन्होंने अपनी जिंदगी लीड की सो ही लेड अ वेरी चर्पी हैप्पी जॉयफुल लाइफ बट नाउ व्हेन ही लुक्स एट द सिटी व्हाट ही गोज थ्रू इज सिवियर पेन रिग्रेट रिमोर्स एंड मिजरी ऑल राइट दीज आर इंपॉर्टेंट वर्ड्स यू मस्ट नोट दैट नाउ दिस दिस स्टैचू वॉज बिल्ड विथ अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सक्विजिट uh things that you can see leaves of gold it was covered with gold all over it had sapphires for his eyes a very important one ruby in his sword okay then what what happens is that one night a little swallow flew over the city he was tired and wanted to spend the night around the feet of the happy prince as he was ready to sleep just then a large drop of water fell on him so what happened was he the swallow actually his friends had gone to egypt a few days back but he decided to stay back and he saw this statue and he found it a cozy place and he went there just between his legs between his feet and he calmly sat there and trying to sleep the moment he was trying to sleep what happened it was that a drop of water fell on him what was this water This was the tear drop, है ना? Okay. पहली बार गिरा तो बर्ड ने कहा कि पता नहीं क्या है He did not, uh, pay attention to it. The second time he looked at it, it fell on him. He felt that uh, अच्छा फिर से कुछ आया है बारिश तो हो नहीं रही है स्काई में क्लाउड्स तो बिल्कुल नहीं है नाउ देन वॉट हैपन दिस वॉलर डिसाइडेड टू लुक फॉर अनदर प्लेस जस्ट देन थर्ड ड्रॉप फेल He looked up and saw that these were the tears from the eyes of the happy prince, and the swallow filled with pity. It was all his heart, heart melted, and he was filled with pity. It look at that, the statue is crying. The swallow asked, "Who are you, and why are you crying?" This is what he asked. Okay, I'm sure after studying this much, you will be able to answer these two questions. So these are do-it-yourself questions. Okay, please answer this question. All right, these questions. All right. Now, what happened then? The happy prince told the swallow that he lived in a palace while he was alive and had a kind human heart. There was no sorrow at all, and his courtiers called him the happy prince. After his death, he had been set up on a high pillar. His heart is made up of lead, yet it always weeps when he sees the misery. Okay, when he sees the misery. Okay. in the life of people of the city now what is happening right now is that till now he was in a happy place he was leading a life where everybody in his court room in his uh, palace said that everything is fine everything is going well so he was happy he remained happy okay because he was not exposed to the misery of the world but the moment he has died now when his his statue has been erected what you could see is the entire palace is the entire kingdom the entire city and the city is full of grief okay he told the swallow that far away in a little street a little boy of a strange same stress with the same stress a lady tailor okay somebody who do, does the work of sewing is sick so boy is the child of the same stress is sick but she has to complete her order okay so he is crying and his mother could not give him oranges to eat instead she gave him water they, they do not have anything to eat they are so poor He asked the swallow to give his ruby to the poor women. The swallow obeyed the happy prince, and then he flew and laid the ruby on the table of the poor woman. So this this ah uh, swallow was first reluctant. He said, "How can I go and how can I take ruby from the sword? I can't do it." But he said, "See, I'm tied. I can't go. So you have to do this for me." So he takes that ruby, this ruby red in color, and then he gives it to the seamstress and. Ah, uh, but of course he doesn't tell her. What he does is just goes there and keeps it there on the table. Okay, I'm sure you will be able to answer this question. How did the happy prince live when he was alive? What was the seamstress doing? So of course she was placing the order. She was working in order to 
complete her order and the boy was sick. She could not feed him. She could not give him anything. She could not give him oranges. Then what is the second incident? So this was the first thing that moved the prince and this is how the uh, swallow held him. What is the second incident? This is about a writer. Okay, the second hill that he does is to a writer. What was happening to the writer? Writer was suffering from cold and was hungry. Okay, so but he could not work. He was a playwright. Okay, so the happy prince asked the swallow to give one of the sapphires to sapphires are his eyes, right? His eyes were made up of sapphires. So actually, they had fixed sapphires in his eyes. The swallow did not want to pluck out the sapphire from his eyes, but he obeyed him unwillingly. So, we have seen that obedience has a big role here. You no, know, obedience is also very, very important. Okay, that he is an obedient uh, swallow, an obedient bird, and he is now a friend. Okay, what he sees and experiences is that this particular statue, he is a prince, but look at him, how selfless he is. So there is a lot of selflessness in him, right? He is selfless, sacrificing. He is giving away his ear, his eyes, his, his uh, ruby from his sword. He is giving away everything that he has. After that, the happy prince saw a match girl and her matches fell into the gutter. At his command, the swallow very unwillingly plucked. So she, this girl, she had... Uh, uh, lost her matches and if she had gone like that she would go to her uh, father uh, without uh, making any money she would probably get scoldings yeah so he wanted to save the girl and that is why he decided that you should give her the another sapphire okay the swallow slipped the sapphire to, into the palm of the match girl and a happy prince allowed the swallow to fly away to egypt now he said that please go now you have done you have completed your task you have done the job not you can fly to Egypt but the swallow decided to stay with the blind prince forever and he said that now you cannot see you have lost your eyes you have given it to the people of your city how can I, I leave you now I can't leave you now so he decides to stay back now what is happening over here we see two things the sacrifice of the prince at the same time we see the camaraderie the sacrifice the devotion of this bird of the swallow he is also extremely devoted to his master now. With the blind prince, then he decides to stay with the master forever. The swallow brought the news of sufferings of the people. When the prince heard that the people are starving, he commanded the swallow to take off the golden leaves from the statue and distribute them among the poor people. So he kept on distributing everything that he had. His sapphires, his rubies, of course he had got one ruby. Then of course all the golden leaves that he had. He just distributed it or he gave it to the people who were poor. Now the statue appeared dull and grey, okay, bereft of. He was now without any, uh, you know, exquisite items on him. We were actually uh, to say they were gems and rubies and precious ornaments. So they are all not now taken, okay. They are not there on his body and he is, he is standing there not like a prince but like an ordinary man maybe. Now the statue appeared dull and grey. The frost made the swallow colder and colder and was about to die. He flew to the happy prince who bade goodbye by kissing each other. So they kissed each other. So basically the sparrow went to him and kissed him. And the swallow fell down at the feet of the statue. The lead heart of the prince broke into two. And this sight, he could not stand this. And his heart also, which was made of lead, also broke off. So it broke into two pieces. The mayor ordered that the statue should be pulled down because it was neither beautiful nor useful. So it was not giving aesthetic appeal nor it was, you know, of any use right now because it's not, it's looking ugly and dull. The broken heart did not melt in the furnace. It was thrown away on a dust heap where the dead swallow was also lying. God asked the angels to bring the two most precious things in the city right now. The God praised the angel's choice in bringing him the leading heart of the happy prince and the dead soul. So what we see is, you know, a deep uh, sense of, uh, uh, you know, you, you have, uh, you know, you can say it's, it's pity. A lot of pity is there at the ending when we see that ironically this happy prince, when he was covered with 
all the ornaments jewels rubies and um you know sapphires it was considered to be something to be looked up to looked up to something that was uh, adding to the beauty it was beautification or something of beautification adding the beauty of the city but right now when all the jewels and ruby and sapphires have been taken out which is of course for the welfare of the city it is now useless it appears useless to the people for and to the mayor particularly okay this is irony over here students so you must understand the irony what is the irony that at, at the outset what we see is a happy prince the title is a happy prince but what we see is the happiness turned into sadness the moment he saw the misery of his people and uske baad jo cheez bahut khoobsurat appear ho rahi thi abhi tak mayor ke liye city ke liye us cheez se jab jitni bhi artificial cheeze thi materialistic cheeze thi unhe hata diya gaya रिमूव हो गई वो चीजें ऑफ कोर्स लोगों के वेलफेयर के लिए हुई लेकिन अब उसकी जो यूटिलिटी है जो उसका यूज है वो खत्म हो चुका है ठीक है ये आयरनी ये आपको याद रखना है ये कॉन्ट्रोडिक्शन है हैप्पी प्रिंस एक्चुअली में हैप्पी नहीं होता है और जब अल्टीमेटली वो हैप्पी होता है फाइनली आफ्टर गिविंग एवरी टू हिस्स पीपल वॉट हैज है नाउ ही बिकम्स यूजलेस ठीक है यू मस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस I hope I made you understand this beautiful chapter. There are some important words here that you must keep, uh, you know, must understand. Okay, uh, word meaning very important here. Please, sare words ko padh lije ga achhe se. Important questions like I told you, sacrifice. The theme very important here about selflessness. It's very important. Irony is very very important. Okay, all right. Please pay attention to that. and yes let me quickly talk about an academy plus subscription agar aap usse koi bhi is tarah ke sessions aur zyada elaborate way mein karna chahte hain aur detailed explanation chahte hain classes ki sare courses ka access chahte hain live live padhna chahte hain hamare sath top educators ke through padhna chahte hain doubt clearing sessions chahiye aapko exhaustive coverage of the syllabus mentorship guidance study material practice test live test batch courses so please take the plus subscription okay and we also give you daily practice section weekly mock test live quizzes ye sara kuch aapko saath saath milta hai iski pricing bahut nominal ho chuki hai ye 3 months se lekar ke 48 months tak ka hai aur 48 months mein bhi aapko jab aap per month pay payment karoge to ye bahut hi zyada decrease ho jata hai okay and you do not even have to pay the entire amount you can surely pay uh, 10% off just by using my code romana 10 to ye code aap agar aap use karenge तो आपको सीधा सीधा 10 परसेंट का ऑफ मिल जाएगा ठीक है बच्चों इसके अलावा भी बहुत सारे हमारे ऑफर्स चल रहे होते हैं तो एक बार जरूर कनेक्ट कर लीजिए हमारे साथ अगर आप ऑफर अवेल करना चाहते हैं तो एंड इट इज ऑलवेज सजेस्टेड टू टेक अ लॉन्गर ड्यूरेशन कोर्स सो दैट यू कैन अवेल मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ मैक्सिमम डिस्काउंट ठीक है अच्छा ये प्लस कोर्स की प्राइसिंग लिस्ट है आइकॉनिक स्पेशलाइज एक काइंड ऑफ पर्सनलाइज एक्सपीरियंस है जिसमें आपको पर्सनल मेंटोर मिलते हैं जो आपको वन ऑन वन पढ़ाई कराते हैं ठीक है फ्रॉम द कंफर्ट ऑफ योर हाउस अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू आल्सो हैव लाइव डाउट सॉल्विंग सेशंस इन विच यू कैन आस्क द डाउट गेट योर डाउट्स क्लैरिफाइड बाय योर एजुकेटर देन यू हैव अ वीकली रिपोर्ट कार्ड दैट विल गिव यू डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन और डिटेल रिपोर्ट ऑफ हाउ योर परफॉर्मेंस हैज बीन ओवर वन वीक ओके सो दिस इज अ वीकली रिपोर्ट we also connect with your parents to keep them updated about your performance whether you have been improving or not which you surely will okay study planner is also there we also plan out things for you all we chart out how you should uh, plan how you should study should, how you should make time table apart from that students you also have all the benefits of having a top educator mock tests quizzes these sab to aapke constant hai hi hai theek hai अच्छा इसकी प्राइसिंग आप देख सकते हैं आइकॉनिक की प्राइसिंग भी थ्री मंथ्स की ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड की है सिक्स मंथ्स की इट इज फॉर सेवेंटीन थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व मंथ इज फॉर ट्वेंटी एट थाउजेंड इट गोज अपर सिक्सटी एंड इट्स फॉर फोर्टी एट मंथ एटी थ्री थाउजेंड अफकोर्स इफ यू पे इट इन ए एम आई इट विल कम डाउन टू वेरी लेस अमाउंट एज एन इट विल बी डिवाइडेड एन एंड इट विल बी स्प्लिट ओवर अ टाइम अच्छा इसमें आपके पास ई एम आई का ऑप्शन है आपके पास पास में भी पे करने का ऑप्शन है और बच्चों आप अगर चाहेंगे आप ये कोड जरूर यूज कीजिएगा ताकि आपको फ्लैट टेन परसेंट जो ऑफ है वो जरूर मिल जाए ठीक है टेन परसेंट का डिस्काउंट तो जरूर लीजिएगा और आप चाहें तो ई के थ्रू या फिर पास में भी पेमेंट कर सकते हैं
सकते हैं आई होप दिस सेशन वॉज यूजफुल आई मेड यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस चैप्टर ओके एंड ये Keep cracking with us. I hope you all are cracking it, and let's crack it with An Academy. Let's crack and prepare well for the exams. I hope you have understood everything well. Please read the NCERT. That's very very important. Okay, please do not forget to like the session and share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Bye bye, everyone. Take care.